We begin with the latest on now decrepit depression, Helene, and its potential impact on your weekend plans. Let's take a live look at Cincinnati as Helene makes its way across the Kentucky Ohio border. You can see that strong wind there as that camera shakes a bit. From here in Ohio to Florida, tonight more than 3 million are without power. There's extensive damage and flooding in parts of Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas. So far, Helene has claimed the lives of at least 33 people. Meanwhile, it's smooth sailing at Cleveland Hopkins for the most part. There have not been many cancellations since this morning, mostly delays, but you should check out your flight status before you head to the airport. And as we've been telling you, we're expected to see and feel the remnants of Helene right here in Northeast Ohio. The chief, Betsy Kling, is here with more on what to expect for your weekend plans. Hi, Betsy. Well, Russ, we have a lot of cloud cover that's in the weekend forecast, although we may start to see some peaks of sun as we head through the day, especially tomorrow, not so much on Sunday. What's left of Helene has lost all tropical characteristics, so the warm core is gone. We're just left with leftover energy, so not even tropical depression. We're down to post-tropical Helene, and we will deal with post-tropical Helene for the next several days as what's left of the core of the storm kind of meanders around uh, in the mid Ohio Valley. So definitely a noteworthy storm uh, from yesterday to today because I mean just think of the widespread impacts that have been felt. Meantime as that core continues to work its way back to the west we have wind and rain that is surging through western Ohio especially. Notice we do have some scattered showers that are working their way into our area as well but the wind is probably the most noteworthy part of this right now. Uh, we have wind gusts anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per hour especially in western and southwestern Ohio. We are seeing our wind gust speeds coming down. This is phenomenal news and we'll continue to see the wind gusts come down overnight. Currently still clocking wind gusts over 20, even close to 30 miles per hour here in northeast Ohio. We're keeping a close eye on sprinkles. Most of this is very light rain at this point and sprinkles passing through, although we do have some heavier showers coming through the northern sections of Tuscarawas and Carroll counties. We'll be kind of watching this line that uh, goes from Pittsburgh to Cleveland because if we're going to have any rain that comes in for the Guardians game tonight, that'll be the trajectory that we have to follow. But in the meantime, as the evening wears on, those wind gusts will be coming down. We're going to stay with uh, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts here this evening by tomorrow. Much much calmer conditions and believe it or not, not as much in the way of rain coming our way tomorrow, but there are still showers in the weekend forecast. We're going to track all of it for you coming up. All right, Betsy. See you soon. Thank you.